Hi everybody, it's Rick Senna with Past, Present Herbs. And today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be talking about how easy it is to grow herbs. You don't really need that much to get started. All you need is some seeds. And like today, I just got through planting this little plug. Um, I had a cell tray, just like this. I put some seeds and some soil and watered them. And now it's time to get this plug. And you know me and my solo cups, I love solo cups. I've got some soil in here and we are just gonna plant and look how beautiful these roots are. These roots are absolutely beautiful. They've been in this um, tray right here for about four, maybe four and a half weeks. And I've kept them watered. I've kept them in um, a room where there was plenty of ventilation. You water them, you give them some light. And my lights were not grow lights. My lights were just simple shop LED lights that I bought at Walmart. I think they were $24 and I got them on sale for $19.99. So you don't need a lot of money to get started. And all I'm doing is I'm taking this little plug that I gave water, air, and light to and we're putting it in a solo cup full of dirt. It's gotten to the point where it's kind of big. And if you look in here, I've actually, I can, I can probably take this apart and I can actually, there's one, two, three, if I can get that apart, one, two, three, four, five. And I can actually, there's a fly in here that's driving me. Okay, I'm gonna take this apart because I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. I kind of sometimes like to leave these together because when I plant them in the ground, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them in bunches. But just for the video, I'm going to take that apart because they're so easy to grow in little clusters like that. But just for the video, and I did not turn my camera around. I'm very sorry. Let me put my camera have a tendency. I have a couple of friends in here in the greenhouse with me that got in underneath. I closed it up last night and they're trying to irritate me while I film this video. Okay, so that's about it. You just want to get it to where it's, you know, because they're, they're kind of flimsy. Now I'm going to water this I've got this one just like that. I put holy basil across there. And this is just my planting tray. Now I have another plug right here. We're gonna do the same thing to this one. But I wanted to talk about holy basil real quick while we are working. Holy basil is native to India. India, they grow, they grow it in abundance over there. They have lots of farms over there where they grow it. And um, this, this is like a daily beverage for them over there. Um, it's a great tasting herb. You may think, you know, why do I want to grow that? Well, it helps with anxiety. It helps with depression. It helps if you're feeling sad. And it's a great tasting herb. When I very first learned of this, um, I was going to school and when I did the research on this herb, I thought, man, I need this because <laughs> this was like uh, really during the pandemic and I really needed it. A lot of people um, ordered this just just to make them feel better. And a lot of people, this, this is high in antioxidants, which we know antioxidants are good for us. It's an adaptogenic and adaptogenics are really good for us. So I really thought, you know, I'm going to get this. I put it in a combination with other herbs that have a great recipe for this. And this herb right here, because I use it so much, I really wanted to um, start growing it because it's going to take, you want to start it now between February. I started this in February. It's now March, you know, and, and in April, at the end of April, I'll put it in the ground. So right now, this herb will live in these cups for about three or four more weeks. And then I'll be able to plant this outside. It's gonna live here in my greenhouse. 
until the warmer months. It's a warm, loving crop, and in India, they drink it all the time. They love it. They know all the great health benefits. I have a disclaimer down in the uh, description. I am an herbalist. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not making any medical claims whatsoever. If your doctor tells you not to drink this, then please follow your medical doctor's advice. But for me and my family, what we do is we love to drink this. It really helps us um, keep the blues away during the winter, especially. I have a, um, a great recipe for Happy Time Tea, and we love it. It has lots of other herbs with it. I'm going to be coming out shortly with a video um, about backyard herbs. If you look in my early videos and the early days, I have lots of single herbs that, um, and I tell all about the herbs. What we're going to be doing now is kind of like your um, kitchen herbs where you can grow them and they're easily accessible. So we're going to be going through a little bit um, more in detail how you can grow your herbs right there in your backyard. <laughs> Um, I did this as an experiment when I was going to school. So I hope you enjoy these videos that are going to be coming up. And I hope you grow you some Tulsi, also known as Holy Basil. And I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you like it and share it with your friends. It's worth um, growing Holy Basil. It's a delicious and very nutritious herb. It's also good as, as a cold tea, as a, as a warm tea in the winter. And um, I hope you look down in the description where it says show more. I'll have some links where you can buy your seeds. And it's great after the, at the growing season, how you can dry it and how you can um, save it in um, air, air top bags or in glass jars. And you can um, have it to drink throughout the winter. Okay, you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.